Hi everyone. Welcome to Econ by Tim. I am Manvi Gupta. I am an assistant professor in economics. Welcome to my YouTube channel called as Econ by Tim. It makes me so happy that I'm finally saying this out loud, recording an actual video. I have been wanting to do this since almost a year now. Finally gathered the courage. So yeah, for me. Being this the first video, this is also a first video of a new series which I'm starting known as Econ Stories. So stay tuned till the end. This video is going to be about the series and also about myself because if you are going to watch me or listen to me, you should know who I am, right? So let's get started. And actually before we get started, I would like to apologize for a very lectury way of recording this video since currently I am not really aware of how to edit videos and I really wanted to make one. So the first, I mean, of course, the video's first part is going to be about myself. It's an introduction. I will just give you a little context before we deep dive into the details. I am currently an assistant professor of economics. As I said, I teach the London School of Economics curriculum here in Delhi. I teach microeconomics, macroeconomics, and also industrial economics. I also love going to schools, taking workshops, and taking career talks. So that is what I do. That is what I love. And now let's get started about how it all actually started a decade ago. So let us trace back. This is me in high school in 10th grade. And I have put this picture here because since 10th grade, I had this seed that I want to become a teacher or a professor. I loved academics. I loved reading, studying and whatnot. So since this, I was this, I really wanted to become a teacher. And not just any teacher, a teacher or a professor whose students say that you make us fall in love with the subject. And fingers crossed, it did happen. I, the love I have received after starting my teaching career, I, I just don't teach. I also take counseling sessions, career counseling sessions um, through, and I, it's all free by the way. So it's it has been tremendous and I ha I couldn't have been more grateful. So this was, this is what I dreamt of. This is what I'm doing. And now starts the part of the every step which I took to be here. So naturally after school, high school was over. I entered Delhi University, Indra Press College for Women. Uh, some pictures from there just to remind myself and of course all of you guys that how lovely uh, of a journey it was. Not only I made a lot of friends, but that place, the exposure of economics it gave to me, it made me fall in love with that subject a lot more. And uh, just a little bad story. When I was in grade 11, I was studying correlation in my class. And the way that those numbers were able to describe the data, the correlation numbers, I thought that if something can be that magical, I just decided that my all my life became about getting into DU, getting an 85% and getting an economics honors. So this was indeed a dream come true for me. I did well here, decently well. Naturally, there was no confusion. I straight away started preparing for a master's in economics. And I went to Terry School of Advanced Studies, where I completed my MSc economics. I, the one, those two years gave me such a great exposure to curriculum, which is very, very much research aligned, which exactly what I wanted to experience. I wrote n number of critical reviews, literature reviews, and I also wrote a complete thesis on behavioral economics nudges. That was the best part of the master's curriculum. And, uh, so this still here, the journey has been very basic, but now the twist is going to start. Naturally, I always thought that, and also other people told me that since you dream of becoming a professor, you might want to do a PhD straight away after master's 
because that's what everyone does right so i started preparing my uh, sop started writing some research proposals and what not but sometimes life has its own plans and it did not work out so guess where did i end up after my masters i ended up at ernst and young as a consultant in their esg department research papers turn into mom's academic meetings supervisor meetings turn into client meetings and eod update calls well you might think i'm going to give a rant here but no eny was the place which gave me a lot of soft skills this place taught me a lot and specifically it taught me that how my life feels so incomplete without economics so i left ey in a year without any backup i didn't have it all figured out to be honest but it just felt right so i did it and then i landed up at I am Bangalore as an academic associate in their economics area. So, for people who do not know what an academic associate does, an academic associate is like an associate to the professors who help them in their responsibilities, like making slides, grading papers, making lecture notes, and they also assist sometimes in research work. This slide. felt short to put all the pictures i wanted to for all the experiences i wanted to share with you i did one semester of macroeconomics under dr chetan subramaniam and uh, i am so thankful for that semester because it made me realize that i love macroeconomics more than microeconomics and for all the people who are watching and uh, are hardcore into economics they would know how big of that realization is and it changes everything about you i also took a corporate finance class there i absolutely loved it it made me interact it made me interact with a lot of mba students there and uh, the exposure was wonderful as you can see in the third photo here i am not sure if my pointer would be visible but with a lot of trees i used to walk here every day after breakfast and lunch and uh, these roads when i used to walk uh, here they made me realize two things which i am utterly thankful for because had that realization not happened god knows what i would be doing now first realization was that i am probably someone who loves teaching more than research so phd is not an answer to me or for me right now which was a very very hitting a big realization a very hard to accept reality because i have been planning my life for doing a phd the reason i came to iim bangalore was so that i can apply to phd after gaining some exposure there but it changed everything and then i realized that staying true to one own inner voice is much more important than the social pressure of doing something i'm not saying phd is wrong or a bad thing to do but it was just not for me in that moment and in that moment okay coming to the second realization a separate video on i am bangalore maybe someday when i interacted with a lot of mba students there connected with them on linkedin i realized that how my feed is absolutely full of guidance for mba students guidance for people who want to enter finance sector business sector consulting how to get into iim but how seldom i come across such posts which are guiding economic students or which are helping people in economics to enter the real world i mean the guidance with respect to either career in economics or why to do in economics is much in dearth when you compare it to the guidance available for mba students and that is what was my second realization and that was the seed of this video which is now my plan known as econ stories so econ stories is a series which i'm starting on my channel called econ by tim 
where I will be interviewing different people who have studied economics, where will they will talk about their journey, what they are doing, how did they land up there, so that these videos can come handy to anyone who feels confused about their career or specifically confused about what to do after economics or whether economics, education and economics is something they should pursue. I hope the videos which I plan to bring not only just help economic students, but also help people who feel confused when the conventional career paths are not working out for them. So if you are still watching till here, I am guessing you like the video, you like the idea of what I'm bringing to the table. So if you want to connect with me, my Instagram, LinkedIn, socials are in the description box. And if you're an economic student, school student, undergraduation student, master student, who needs to gain some clarity, there is also a meeting link in my description box where you can book a call absolutely free of cost, a one-to-one -one call with me. So thank you for watching it till here and I hope my channel and my videos come useful to at least some of you. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.